After almost three years, OOP updates on a husband who expects equality in expense sharing. Reminder. I am not the OOP. This is a repost. Original post from February 26, 2020 AITA for wanting my husband to start paying more for our housing? Hi all. For reference. I am 29F and my husband is 30 meters. We've been together since I was 20. And got married when I was 26. When we moved in together when I was 25. We were splitting our rent evenly. I was making 65k and he was making 80k. And we live in a large US city. It didn't really make a huge difference in my budget versus his to split rent 50-50 for 2600 a month rent. However, things have changed. I got pregnant a few months after we go married, which we were so happy about and wanted. I didn't want to not work, but I wanted to be home with our baby. So I found a full-time remote job in my field of work. The downside is I took a cut to my salary from 65k to 50k. We continued to split rent in our apartment. My husband, between being 26 and 30, has received a number of raises and has switched his job. He is now a senior business analyst, making roughly 195k a year. Since we were having a child, we were going to need a bigger apartment. We found a three bedroom for 4000k per month. He still wanted to split rent evenly. Despite my protests, and despite me wanted to try to find a smaller apartment for less. In the end, I sort of let myself get walked over because he really is such a smooth talker and I do love him. Anyway, flash forward 2.5 years. Our rent has increased to 4400k. My take home pay monthly after taxes is roughly 3600k. I am paying 2.2k monthly in rent. I am also taking care of our baby in our home, doing chores and cooking daily. My husband works from 8-6, but typically doesn't get home until 7. I am burnt out. I barely have enough money per month to do things I enjoy. I feel like I am financially struggling while my husband is living a life of luxury. Yes he does take me out on dates and on vacation, but he doesn't seem to understand that this is not enough for me. I spoke to him two days ago very seriously. And when I asked about trying to split rent based on our income and pay an equal percentage of our income so that it is more fair than fully equal, his reaction stunned me. He asked me why having 1.6k extra a month wasn't enough for me. I told him I'm not saving anything. He told me I should spend less on extracurricular activities which makes me laugh because what? Extracurricular activities? All I do is work cook, clean, shop for the house and raise our child. I told him I am basically working two full-time jobs at once and I need help. Then he asked me if I am suggesting he pay me for being a mother and that stunned me I really had. No response to that. Anyway, he told me that this is the lifestyle we agreed when we moved in together way back when. However, he doesn't seem to understand or rather does not want to understand. Now he is mad with me because he thinks I am being selfish and has been acting cold to me these past few days. I am getting the itch to apologize and take it back like I always do. But I really feel I am right here. Am I the asshole? Edit. Thank you all for all of the responses. I can honestly say I did not expect to get this feedback. I am honestly overwhelmed and cannot reply to all of you. Especially while I am working but I wanted to update some things here. I love my husband with all my heart. And it is heartbreaking for me to read these comments and realize that I am being taken advantage of. I need to figure out the best way to approach this issue and solve it before it gets too far. I want to work this out and the fear of being alone is haunting me. Yes I did sign a prenup that was overseen by his family attorney. My husband comes from extreme wealth and I was young and stupid and went with it. Head over heels like my mother always said I was.
As for his family we get along great and they love me. It's very confusing because they are such incredibly generous people. And they are family. But they don't know about our financial situation because my husband and I believe that our marriage is private. And I would feel like I was betraying him by telling them. I'm sorry I cannot reply to all of you. But please know I am reading all of the comments and making a plan of approach with them. Edit 2. For those talking about the dates and vacations bit that he pays for I have asked him numerous times to help lighten my financial load instead of going on these trips and dates and he has refused. He said he can do what he wants with his money and if he wants to take us on vacation that is what he will pay for. If I could afford vacation I would pay. In fact, when we were in a more even financial situation, unmarried, not kids I paid for almost all of our vacations and dates because I love to treat people. And I can't do that anymore. Edit 3. I also do not have bad spending habits. I worked my way out of my student loan debt in two years after graduating. I saved 60k but the time we got married, and I have that all in my retirement which I am thankful for because I can no longer contribute to it. This has nothing to do with how I spend. I am actually pretty frugal when it comes to shopping. Especially since I prefer to keep things cheap for my budget. Verdict. NTA. Update from October 29th, 2022. I sincerely apologize for taking so long to return to Reddit and write an update to this. A lot has happened since. For those who don't know, this post was originally written at the end February of 2020. The world, therefore after, fell apart. Things were not good with me and my husband at the time of this post. I want to preface this by saying we are still together to this day and we've welcomed a new child to the world this time in a much healthier environment. COVID changed a lot for me. Along with the intense virality of the last post neither my husband or I got laid off of furloughed. And we were and are so thankful. But my husband moved to work from home. That perspective shift changed a lot for him when he say what I had to deal with day to day things. I could never properly communicate about how difficult it is to work while raising a child and what. I brought to the table that he could never see. Despite his newfound appreciation for me, I still found myself resenting him. It was in June that I finally proposed that we go to couples counseling. After doing my own virtual therapy sessions since March, from which I learned about why I let people step over me based on my childhood and past and how to overcome that. To my surprise, my husband agreed and so we've been in weekly counseling since even to this day. It helped him get to the root of his fears and address why he has trouble trusting me financially. Which had less to do with me and more to do with what he was brought up believing and had been instilled with. After coming to the point of telling him I wouldn't want to continue building a family or a life. With him where he watched me struggle from luxury. With the help of our amazing counselor who guided us. My husband was willing to adjust our lifestyle to be more equal. I'm not saying everything was or is magically perfect. I know people wanted an update where I left my evil husband and took my baby to start a new life. But I did marry this man for reason I saw the good and past this struggle we've had to overcome. He's become the man I knew I'd married. We now have a joint bank account as well our own on the side. We each put two-thirds of our income into the shared account and get to keep one-third road for ourselves. I am in a new job now and making much more money than in the original post. Not that this affects the relationship. But so people know my one-third is enough for me to enjoy. It's still a road to recovery but we have more trust between us and are no longer living a 50-50 lifestyle. Again, I'm sorry for not updating sooner. But the past few years have been a lot for us. And everyone. Thank you all for your support and advice I promise I wouldn't be sitting here typing this without. It. I am not the op. This is a repost. 
She may have agreed to the 50-50 lifestyle and having a baby. But did she agree to be the only one cooking for the family? Cleaning for the family? Doing laundry for the family? All of that is, free labor, he was taking advantage of. Had I seen her original post I would have suggested that she make him consider those hours in lieu of some of her contribution, or he could pay for a housekeeper. Classic example of the SAH parents' contributions being disregarded and taken advantage of. How can someone make 200,000 and come from money? and not get a nanny and a cleaning lady. Instead, his wife had to have a full-time job, be full-time childcare, full-time cleaning, cook, etc. It's nice Oop is doing better. But I really hope she gets rid of the prenup. You know what's probably not fixable in this relationship is the fact that he didn't believe her for one hot second. Totally thought she was making it all up. He had to see it with his own eyes and see it himself to actually believe her. She was making one quarter what he made and had to pay 50-50 to the point that she had nothing left at the end of each month. Yet as concerned as he was with them contributing equally financially, she was the one doing all of the cooking, cleaning and taking care of their child? That was clearly intentional. No mention in the update about how those tasks are being divided. I get the feeling they're just putting a band-aid on the wound to try and save the marriage. I just don't know how genuine he's being. Because how could anyone be so oblivious to how unfair that situation is? And there's still nothing to suggest anything other than the financial aspect has changed. Do you expect to be paid for being a mom, lol yes? How much are you saving by having her work two jobs instead of paying for a nanny? Just saying the quiet part out loud. That he doesn't think caring for a child is work. OOP's husband was probably motivated by the same fear that forced her to keep her finances private. From his family in the first place fear of social censure. Probably didn't want to have a separation from OOP during a pandemic. Because how terrible a partner are you that your wife leaves with her young child because of money? Correct me if I'm wrong but they're both putting two-thirds of their salary in a joint account. Which he could empty in the event of a divorce. Unless her new job doubled her salary her so is still making way more. They're in the exact same situation as before. No? She's still cooking. Cleaning. Working. Taking care of two children and a grown adult. She's married to a useless financially abusive ah and she's too blinded to see it. Op mentions nothing about him contributing to the household chores in either post. She makes way too many excuses for this guy. He's been loaded from day one and put her into financial distress knowingly. What a selfish prick. I'm really curious who pays for all baby stuff. Insurance. Medical bills. Diapers. Clothes etc. Cuz I have a feeling it's mom. Sadly she is someone that is going to learn the hard way. 200k a year and he's okay with watching his wife struggle? Trash. It helped him get to the root of his fears and address why he has trouble trusting me financially. Which had less to do with me and more to do with what he was brought up believing and had been instilled with. I really, really want to know what this is. Maybe it's just me, but from the update, it didn't sound like it was addressed at all the financial burden that Oop had all those years. Sure, going forward. There will be a more fair division of expenditures. But what about all those years that she was spending the majority of her disposable income on? Expenses and the family? Her marriage has definitely set her back financially. I find the update sad. He still probably has around 2x the disposable income than her and she's still doing more of the work. And he gets to feel like the great husband who listened to his wife. 
They need a maid and consistent childcare of some kind so she can have a break. What kind of post-feminist, we'll go half but you do all the housework. Household management and childcare, hell? We gotta stop telling people that marriage is important. That love is enough to cover canyons and that walking away from things that don't serve your best. Interests makes you a failure or a bad person. I'm learning these lessons. 23 year old would have stayed just like oop. Me now? Not unless he literally paid me on top of paying for a housekeeper and a part-time nanny. Also, the weaponization of gold digger is so aggravating to me for a bunch of reasons. 1. Patriarchy 2. As a result of 1. Men tend to see their wives as an unending well of social and emotional support in ways that are often one-sided in his favor. No one puts that in the conversation because only money has value. 3. When you are the primary child, house care partner your earning potential is diminished. Not just as a result of taking time from the paid economy to physically birth the baby and stay home if that is financially feasible for you. In the US hellscape sans federally mandated parental leave, obviously, but also as a result of needing more flexibility in order to be on call should your child need you. This often leads the primary child rearer to pursue part-time employment. Avoid promotions or work in fields with more flexibility. All of these options reduce their earning potential over the course of their career. Regardless, her husband at best is willfully ignorant and struggles with empathy. At worst he married her because her difficulties with asserting herself meant he could mold their future to fit his interests and social image. The well-being of his partner and the overall family be damned. I read that he's 30 years old and a senior business analyst, making roughly 195k a year, and felt bad about myself. Then I read that he comes from extreme wealth, and it made a lot more sense. But I still feel bad about myself. I can't believe she came back from that. I could never trust him not to financially abuse me again. She tries to make the update sound positive. But it's really not. She's not under as much financial stress apparently. But that's partially because she has a job that pays better. Nowhere does she say he's contributing to the load of childcare or household upkeep. And now they have another child. Marriage counseling saved their marriage. But I don't know that it saved her. And he still has 4x the money as his wife. I do not understand this arrangement at all. Bloody hell those sorts of people have no idea of the meaning of family. If your partner is struggling to make ends meet while working and looking after your child and you are resting on your laurels with money to spare then you are an utter arsehole and no true partner at all. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.